Hi, I'm Mark Reagan, Director of Music at Christ Church. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about rhythmic notation, give you just a, a little bit of a taste for, uh, for what that is. When we're talking about rhythmic notation, we're talking about just that. Notation, we're, we're talking about notes, actually. And so, just to be clear on what that, what that means when you're talking about notes, sometimes someone might say that that song ended on a high note. Uh, what they mean and what the term actually means are different things. So when you say that a song ended on a high note, uh, you're, thinking, you're actually thinking the, the pitch, right? So it may, what, it, what is it, a high C, right? It, the, the singer ended on a high C. That's a pitch and not a note. When we talk about notes, we're actually talking about rhythm, technically speaking. So you have pitches and, pitches and rhythm. When you're talking about what you see on the page, when you see, uh, when you see a note on the page, it's going, to have, it, it's going to have pitch, it's going to also have rhythm. So you're going to be told how high to sing and also how long to sing it. When we talk about notes and sound, we also have corresponding silences. And I'll, I'll show you in future videos a, a few examples of, of both. But let me give you an example of how you might differentiate two songs in terms of notes and rhythm. So when we sing the doxology, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. That is rhythmically and note-wise differentiated from all people that on earth do dwell, Psalm 100. All people that on earth do dwell. Doxology, the first one, might be rendered this way. Short, 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 long. Whereas all people that on earth do dwell goes like this. Long, short, 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 long, long, long. So we have a different combination of shorts and longs. In other words, we have, we have different rhythms that are, that are represented there. One way of seeing this then uh, can be uh, shown on a, on a chart like this, which will then break down these notes and their relationship to each other. We name these notes by, uh, by just using fractions, very simple fractions. So we have a whole note. You might say a whole note is represented by the number one, whereas when we cut that in half, and now we have two halves, it's one over two, a half note. And this is one over four, a quarter note, one over eight, eighth notes, one over sixteen, a sixteenth note. This is the, not all the rhythms that you would see in, in music, but this gives you an idea of how they relate to each other. When we sing Old Hundredth, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, it would look like this in the Cantus Christi. All people that on earth do dwell Sing to the Lord with cheerful voice, etc. And it's just a combination of quarter notes and half notes. Our hymn of the month, which is God is our refuge and our strength, is also a combination of quarters and half notes with a couple of eighth notes thrown in at the very end. So we have God is our refuge and our strength in straits our present aid. Bum, 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 Combination of quarter notes, half notes, and a couple of of eighth notes there. When we're talking about the notation of eighth notes, we see that here we have a succession of separate eighth notes. When I say separate, I mean that they have this flag on them, right, but this, this, this flag is, is tied to each individual note. But sometimes for convenience and, and also for 
some sense of, of unity in the music and also trying to eliminate some clutter, what will often happen is these flags will go away and they'll turn into beams. So here's two eighth notes that are beamed together. And that's, a, just a, that's a, a sort of a, a, a neater, more unified appearance for these eighth notes. Sixteenth notes, which have two flags, can be shown this way with beams. So just because the appearance changes a little bit doesn't mean that their value changes. It only is shown this way for convenience and neatness on the page. So in a future video, I'll explain a little bit more about these concepts as, as you see, such as what is, a, what is a time signature? We see these numbers always at the beginning of the music, and what is that all about? And also then, we haven't talked about pitch really at all. How is, how is pitch accounted for in music, and how do we read it? So stay tuned for those future videos.